wild salmon are really an indicator of how healthy our environment is. If you have a watershed where you can generate wild salmon, you have a healthy watershed. People are crazy about wild salmon. I mean, they say the Pacific Northwest is every place a salmon can get to because the, during their migration, they swim way up the rivers. And they're critical for us humans because it's one of the last sources of healthy wild protein. A lot of people have this misconception that eating wild fish is bad because there aren't that many of them. The fact is, if we're eating them, we're supporting jobs, and if we're supporting jobs, those fish have a value, and that leads to conservation of, of salmon. For many people, it's their portal into the natural world, getting into a river with a fly rod in your hand or a spinning rod, or just having the chance to interact with wild fish is one of the most important outdoor experiences that we have available to us. The damage that has been done to these watersheds has been done over 150 or 100 years. A lot of harm to salmon was done before we had any idea that we were doing this type of harm to salmon. One thing that I'm proud of is designating a portion of the Nehalem River. And what that does is it ensures that there's no dams, no reservoirs, and it also makes sure that there's a quarter mile buffer on each side of the river that's going to protect it so you'll have consistent salmon habitat. We're getting good enough at restoration where I think we are targeted enough, we're spending our, num our money wisely enough, that we are going to begin to see the benefits of it in terms of stronger populations. We do what we do because we love salmon, so it's really important that we support the sustainable salmon and buy wild salmon, eat wild salmon. My name is Mark Trenholm. I work for the Wild Salmon Center. My name is Tara Brown. My name is Guido Rar, and, and this, this is, is my belt buckle. buckle.